What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zay. In today's video, we're gonna be rebuilding some three-piece wheels and doing some car things. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on today's video, but if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button. I would truly appreciate it, but let's go ahead and get today started. Oh no, boys, I gotta bring out the yellow submarine. Only in New Mexico you would have a sunny sky with rain on your dash. I said before I am trying to stick with the supporting local brands in every YouTube video so today's video we got the low-class street sweeping e30 shirt so huge shout out to the low-class guys and Diego for the sick merch and I appreciate it so like I said if you guys have any merch to send I do have a PO box coming soon anything like that you want some support I'll support you if you support me We're at the den, homies. Hey, buddy. Keres E2. Oh, you made me drop my bowl. Oh, I made you drop your bowl. Wow. But they said no effort. That one. It's easy until the camera. You gotta put a lens on and then boom. Wait. No. no. Some of them are like loosey goosey. That's just harder to no. <laughs> Yeah, that that couple of them have been there. Two pounds. That silicone job is pretty good though, because I've seen I've seen some wheels from even my own sets where they have no silicone on them. That's why. Well, this is too much. I was showing Mike. See how low the face sits below the barrel. Oh, is that because so much silicone in between? Well, no, they just it's didn't push it. Yeah. It was... Oh, you know, so like when it slips on. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. If you like compare it to the one that I just did, like yeah, the so face. It'll fit in the groove around the face. Yeah. <laughs> this one I feel is gonna be a pain, pain to pop in apart. the pop. Well, not, not so much pop apart, more clean it up. <laughs> What'd you agree on? If you don't mind. Soldier Dotson? Uh, we didn't really talk about oh. oh. I was like, come on, come on, come on. No, Damn it. He's just throwing me money down the for him. And then So, but it's bought. It's gone. Six money, yeah, it will be. Well, we did have a Dotson build. We did. Boy, look at all these. Mike's not wrong though, it would be easier if we had to stand for it. <laughs> yeah. Josh is like, like the old vlog, back to our roots. <laughs> back to my roots, we're gonna, we're gonna rebuild wheels on the floor. The first time I ever did it, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I just took it into my parents' living room. <laughs> took the wheel in my parents' living room and I just fucking freaking on a YouTube video. Did you watch a YouTube video on how to rebuild three-piece wheels? Well, at first, I took all the bolts out. And I was like, okay. He's like, the... okay, we're here. <laughs> I got them from VR, and they used silver silicone. So I thought, I was like, I thought they were three-piece. Like, what the hell? And I started looking at it, and I'm like, oh, wait. And then I cut it, and I'm like, oh. Bang it, stuck a screwdriver in it, like I'm going to show you. And just fucking... It's a three-piece puzzle. It's not hard to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think sandwich sandwich mounts a lot e easier, in my opinion. Yeah, I guess if you're trying to find that or whatever. Yeah. That's what I like about the A3s. You can run them on the outside. Do you need them anymore? I think it's still comfy. Log that cut. Wow. It's like Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy <laughs> sucked. It's all about scrubs. <laughs> Alright, sir, we're gonna cut you open. Box 
<laughs> it's not even a scalpel, it's a box cutter. <laughs> Low out of the close. Now normally I don't recommend this, but they use like cement, so. Cement? <laughs> Explain them what you're doing. Let them know what you're doing. I'm trying to split the lip and the barrel apart. So, so if cleaning it. wheels are done correctly, you should have a lot of silicone to clean up. You should have it in the middle of the wheel. Well, not this much. No, not definitely not that much. But you should, let's just say the more silicone you have, the better for sure. Can you get me my persuader? Need the big daddy then. <clears throat> oh, yo. I'm gonna drop here. Genuine hickory made in the US. Good old hickory. Almost there. Boom! Boom. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a boy. How can you tell if it's a boy? Don't want to know. <laughs> because there's no. Uh, so yeah, if yeah. there's a, if it's a, if, it's, <laughs> if it is a girl wheel, there will be cutouts here. Majority of work wheels are girls because they do have these cutouts. That say oh yes, work and wheels. <laughs> this is a male. There are no cutouts. It's like over. It's like over the hedge. He was all. We're gonna have you here, here, maybe here, here. Someone here. And he was all. Is someone there? There. Just kidding. <laughs> Give it. Boom, baby. Let's see. Let's check this out. Let me see this. Okay. So we can get a better glare. That's actually not as much as I thought that would be. I definitely thought there'd be a lot more. So right here, what Josh is doing is he is using a bristle brush to take down the silicone when it's gonna get down to the bare metal. So when he reapplies the silicone that it will not have any adhesive problems, it can be smooth. It'll have something to stick to as well. So like something to stick to as well. So like all this gunkiness, you don't want to put silicone over the top because it could just up and peel, and you don't want to leave silicone because you can get air holes, air pockets. What are you doing? Why are you like this? Out of all people to say like, oh, I'm never gonna stand on a car. <laughs> yeah. You... <laughs> but if I'm gonna do a bless up ever in my life, I'm just gonna do it on on his car. <laughs> yeah. I respect for your car. I have my Crocs on. I'm dead. I'm gonna buy a pair of Crocs. I swear. Three two six power Crocs. No way. They make them. Why? <laughs> Just a little update on the wheel. After using the bristle brush on the drill, getting all that silicone off. Like we said before, that with all the adhesive on here, you want to make sure all that silicone is off because the new silicone that you're going to be adding, if there's old silicone buildup on here or anything, like that, and you try resealing it, it's not gonna work. So just get, go ahead and get the bristle brush, and go ahead and just get all that off, and you'll be good to go. You go pick it up, but fly me out there to wrap one of your cars. You probably would. I, I say, I'm just saying, I would offer. So right now Josh is going a little above and beyond on taking the silicone off. Yes, I did help him a little bit with it, but right now he's making sure that 90% of it, 99% of it, all of it's off. Um, like me and Mike was saying before, when you're building multi-piece wheels, whether it's two-piece, three-piece wheels, and you compress it with the silicone, that silicone literally spreads everywhere. 
and that's what we're having to deal with now and especially if you do have the bristle brush that's going to help out tremendously because only a knife can go so far with taking out that silicone right now we're at a good breaking point the impact did die on us the boys are just messing around um kind of beforehand josh was working on this wheel right here as you guys can see he finished the silicone going down the middle but for those that do not know this is the brand art in motion wheels um they are Three piece, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're three piece. Um, there's a couple ways you can uh, mount these. You can either sandwich mount them, but these wheels are front mounted. What that means is that the barrel, the lip, and the face do all split apart like in the beginning of the video when we showed you guys. But when you take it off, the barrel splits and the lip and the face come up with it. And when you take this apart, you can take the face off from this way versus if you had sandwich, you can take it off from the middle. All right guys, so we did come to the conclusion that this is probably the end of the video. Um, this may be a two part series just depending on how fast Josh needs them done and uh, how fast he wants to get them out of here. They are not Josh's wheels, They uh, Josh is helping out a friend of ours. But with this being said, I do appreciate everyone that does stick to the videos, watching the videos. And um, if you guys do like what we had to do in today's video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I will leave Mike and Josh's Instagram names in the description if you guys wanna go show them some love, I do appreciate it. Um, I will be definitely keep you guys updated on the FRS and what we are doing on the FRS. But as of right now, we're done for the day. But as usual, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference.